So I had the opportunity to talk to Bill Nye, the science guy at the Planetary Society. Soft sticks. What's the difference between sticks and soft sticks? When you're in front of a, an actor of soft, so it's nice and soft, you're not oh. slamming it in front of the face. Bring it on. <laughs> I wanted to ask him about the origin of everything, so I did. We can cover it in two words. Okay. Big bang. Done. That, done. Thank All you. right. That's a wrap. So we're in Pasadena, California. Yes, we are. Not far at all from Mount Wilson. You can dr ride your bike up there if you're inclined. Inclined, get it? It's uphill. <laughs> it's a mountain. Ed, Edwin Hubble's up there thinking deep thoughts and discovers that the universe is expanding. And then if you get to thinking about it, if the universe is expanding, it's expanding from a place, not from multiple places as far as he could tell. So that came to be called the Big Bang. But it was quite a discovery. I mean, like this. <laughs> all I know is that at one point, all matter was together, and then it got hot, and it expanded. Or it was inherently hot, mm -hmm. or something. OK. So there's an unknowable time, the and plunk time. We think that that time is when the Big Bang happened? Yeah, okay. ten to, well, you don't know. 10 to the minus 43rd seconds. OK. <laughs> it's cool. So the universe that we know, that we can observe, must have all been in one place for a moment. Mm -hmm. And now it's spreading out all over the place and it's accelerating out all over the place. Mm -hmm. And do you know why it's accelerating all over the place? Uh, gravity? Nobody knows. <laughs> okay. And so that's why we made up these fabulous words, dark energy and dark matter. And let the record show, I have coined the term a particle of dark, a darkon. Do you mind if I start a band called The Particle of Dark? The Particle of Dark would be fabulous. Why do you want to seek the origin of everything? Why, why peace? Two questions. Okay. Two questions that get all of us at some mm -hmm. point. Especially, I think, from when you're a little kid. Mm -hmm. Where did I come from? And am I alone? Man, I remember very well lying on the grass in the city of Washington, looking up at the blue sky. It was a beautiful day. This was when children played outside. It was a different era. I remember thinking, oh, I had come to realize that the stars are there even when you don't see them in the daytime. That insight was from the star Arcturus. It's bright, and, like you get the idea, wait, as the sun goes down, the stars come out. Wait, they're there all the time. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the Van Gogh exhibit had been at the Smithsonian. And he painted the sky blue, I mean uh, green, excuse me, green. And I remember thinking, I wonder if there's another planet where the sky is pink. I do remember wondering that. So you look up at the billions of stars and you gotta wonder if there's somebody else out there looking over here. I wonder if there's anybody out there in that pale blue dot. Then you wonder what the other people look like, the other, what would we call them, planetarians. Because <laughs> they wouldn't be aliens because they're, they're all their own friends. Yeah. But why, why do you think we want to know that stuff? Right now, the claim that I will uh, assert, the assertion that I will claim, the, the thing that I'm going to say about that is our ancestors who were not curious, who did not go looking over the hill to see if it was on the other side, uh, disappeared. They were not successful. Tribes that were curious out-competed them. Uh, not only is your size and shape, number of fingers, eye color and so on, a result of evolution. But what you feel is a result of evolution. By knowing our place in space, we can in, enrich the lives of everyone on Earth and change the world. That's really why I'm in, in this business. That's great. Thank you, Easy that's a great Rader. way to end it, yeah. Thank you. So thank you to Bill Nye and the Planetary Society for allowing us to do that interview. If you'd like to know more about the Planetary Society and all the awesome things they do, info in the doobly-doo. And if you'd like to go back to the beginning to see my exquisite intro, click on that giant annotation. Or you could go to the next video on the playlist or the previous video. And uh, I'm just going to keep trying to figure out where I'm going. So you can click anytime. And uh, that's all I have to say, really. That's it. Actually, I think I'm going the wrong way. So I'm going to go this way.